How are you? Are you getting ready for, oh, what holiday is it that's coming? Christmas, right. What a fun time. Well, tomorrow, yeah, today, Advent begins. What does Advent mean? Well, it means coming. And it is also what the four Sundays before Christmas all together they're called Advent. And so today is the first Sunday of Advent. <clears throat> and so we are going to celebrate Advent. And we are going to light a candle <clears throat> and each of the candles have a different just a different word that describes them and just to get us to thinking this week we're going to talk about hope next week we'll talk about something else and light another candle that we will call that other name but Today, I'm going to light the candle of hope. There it goes. Okay. <clears throat> now, how, what does hope mean? I know it is some, some people have the name of hope. I have know some people who do, <clears throat> but it it's also, oh, it's a desire or a plan or, oh, I hope I can do that. Oh, I hope I can do that. And what does that mean? You really want it, right? Yeah, you really want something to happen and you wish for it. Well, we'll talk about a wish and a hope. What was hoped for? <clears throat> now, I have a question. If you are having a birthday, when you know your birthday's coming, do you get excited and say, I want, I want, I want, I want, I want this, I want this, I want this, I want this, oh yeah, and I want this? Or do you sometimes say, oh, I hope, oh, I hope, oh, I hope, or I hope I can get this. Oh, I hope I can do that. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> so sometimes when it's your birthday or even when it's not, do you think, oh, I just, I love getting presents. And another word for a present is a gift. Well, there is a verse in the Bible that says the gift of God. That means the gift that God is giving to us. Can you imagine God is giving us a gift? Well, he does give us every day. He gives us air to breathe. He gives us the ability to breathe, to move, to talk, to sing, to run, to play. He does those things, but the gift of God, the best, biggest, most important gift that God has is eternal life. Wow. Can you say that with me? <clears throat> the gift of God is eternal life. Do you know what that means? It means you can live with him forever and ever and ever. What a gift. Wow. Well, that verse in the Bible is in the New Testament in the book of Romans, chapter 6, verse 23. Well, when you're out and about, you might already be seeing 
and you might even be already making some Christmas decorations or, well, just lots of decorations and seeing some pretty trees and candies. And if you're in the store, you see, oh, wow, look at this. This looks fun. This looks fun. This looks fun. This looks neat. What's happening? I already said it. What's happening? Christmas is coming. And what are you hoping? Well, somebody very important is having a birthday soon. Do you know who that is? The whole world celebrates his birthday. Wow. Who's that? Who is that? We're going to learn about that. But uh, the verse again, the gift of God is eternal life. Life forever and ever. Well... Hmm. What is this? Who is this? Let's see. And what do you think this is? What do you think might be inside? Is it a gift? Well, the whole thing was a gift. Hmm. What do we celebrate? Hmm. Do we celebrate if we've had a bad day or a good day? Or do we celebrate other things? Well, let's pray. Thanks, Father. You love us. Your gift is eternal life. Wow. Please just help us today as we talk about, yeah, what's happening? What are we celebrating? What is the hope that we're talking about? Please help us to learn. Thank you. In your name I pray, amen. Well, in the Old Testament, there's a verse that says, the Lord himself will give you a sign when these special things are going to happen. And he says, the virgin will be pregnant. She will have a son and she will name him Emmanuel. And then it goes on to describe this child. A child will be born to us. God will give a son to us. He will be responsible for leading the people. His name will be Wonderful, Counselor, Powerful God, Father who lives forever, Prince of Peace. Wow, what names. A child will be born to us. God will give a son to us. He will be responsible for leading the people. His name will be Wonderful Counselor, Powerful God, Father who lives forever, and Prince of Peace. Well, those are the things that the people had known. The Jews had known for a long time, lots and lots of years, that those things were going to happen. God had said they were going to happen, and what God says is going to happen, happens. Well, how did it happen? 
Well, let's see. The people kept, kept hoping and hoping and hoping and hoping because this promise was from, do you remember King David? And it was from that family that this was gonna, this person was gonna be born, this king. Well, in the book of Luke, it says, during Elizabeth's, Sixth, sixth month of pregnancy, God sent an angel, Gabriel, to a virgin who lived in another town. Remember, we read that word virgin. She was engaged to marry a man named Joseph from the family of David. Her name was Mary, the angel came to her. What would you do if an angel came and stood in front of you? Whoa. The angel says, greetings. The Lord has blessed you and is with you. But Mary was confused by what the angel said. And Mary wondered, what does this mean? She asked. And the angel said to her, Oh, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid, Mary, because God is pleased with you. Isn't that neat? Do you like to hear God say, I'm pleased with you? Well, Mary heard that, Mary, because God is pleased with you. Listen. You will become pregnant, and that means you're going to have a baby. You will give birth to a son. That's a little boy. And you will name him Jesus. He will be great. The people will call him the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of the King of David, of King David, his ancestor. He will rule over the people, Jake, forever. His kingdom will never end. Wow. Wow. I'm going to have a baby and he he's going to be a, a, a king that will... Is, uh, Mary said to the angel, how will this happen? I'm a virgin, meaning I'm not married. And the angel said to Mary, the Holy Spirit will come upon you. And the power of the Most High, meaning God, will cover you. The baby will be holy. He will be called the Son of God. Now listen, Elizabeth, your relative, is very old, but she's also pregnant with a son. Everyone thought she would not, not have a baby, but she has been pregnant for six months. God can do everything. Isn't that neat to know? God can do everything. Everything. And Mary said then, I am the servant girl of the Lord. Let this happen to me as you say. And then the angel went away. Wow. So she lived in Galilee. In the town called Nazareth. And what was her name? Mary. And who came to visit her? An angel. And just before she was married. And the visitor gave her the news that was really surprising. But it was going to be good news not just for her. 
or Joseph, or and Joseph, but for everyone. Wow. So, how did Mary react when Gabriel greeted her? She was kind of like, what? She was kind of confused. As he said, greetings, the Lord has blessed you and is with you. And it says she was confused and wondered, what does this mean? Well, and then he's told her to not be afraid. What was the good news that Mary received? She was going to have a baby boy who would be named Jesus. She was to name him Jesus. And he would be great and called the son of the Most High. Do you know who the Son of the Most High is? That means the Son of God. Wow. Why was Mary chosen to be the mother? It says in the Bible, The Lord has blessed you and is with you. God was pleased. Also, when Mary said, okay, I am the servant girl of the Lord. Let it happen to me as you say. How about you? If God asked you to do something, would you say, okay, okay. Well, there was another thing. There was this Elizabeth, this relative who was mentioned and she was also pregnant. And, but Elizabeth was a relative of Mary. They were cousins. And so when the two boys were going to be born, that were both gifts from God, they were cousins about the same age. They lived in different places, but they we're cousins. Well, we are going to continue learning about the main people in what holiday is this? What's coming up? What are we going to celebrate? Christmas. And so we have who's the woman? Mary. And she's going to have a baby. And the baby will be named Jesus. So she already knows those things. Wow. Well, in the next weeks, we will be lighting a candle each week. And... We will talk more about what is going to happen. And you can think about, how are you going to celebrate? I like to decorate. So I like to put out things that are red and green. I like to put out, hmm, what's in here? Let's see. Can you tell what that is? From what we've read, who would this be? Jesus. And who would this be? Mary. Will we put lots of things with Mary and Joseph around our home? Hey, oops, that doesn't want to stay open. At Christmas time. And so that's what we're going to be learning about is what happens? What happened? 
What a life. Many, 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 many years. People had almost given up hope. But God hadn't forgotten. When God makes a promise, it happens. And just like he was going to send his son, it would be the son of God. Wow. Wow. Well, we will learn more, like I said, in the next weeks. We'll learn about different people. And you can be thinking about how do you want to celebrate just by getting gifts? And maybe you give some, but, or can you tell somebody else what Christmas is really all about? It's about who? Who's the one? Jesus and Jesus being born. And we will learn more about that. So, but if you want to read or have your parents read to you the story of this that we're studying is in the book of Luke, which is in the New Testament, Matthew, Mark, Luke, the third book of the New Testament, and it's in chapters 1 and 2, and then it goes on with Jesus' life. But we're going to sing a song we haven't sang for a while. Read your Bible and do what? Pray every day. Okay. Read your Bible. Pray every day. Pray every day. Pray every day. Read your Bible. Pray every day. It will help you grow in what you know. It will help you grow. It will help you grow. Read your Bible. Pray every day. It will help you grow in what you know about God and his son, Jesus, and other people that have been an important part in life. So... Let's pray. Thanks, Father. You love us. You love us so much. You sent your son. What a gift. What a gift. Thank you, thank you, thank you. May you help us this week to remember that Christmas is more than just getting presents or giving presents, but it is about learning about you and thinking about you and worshiping you. Thank you, Father. You love us, you care for us, and we love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so... What? The gift of God is what? Eternal life. Enjoy your week. See you next week. Bye-bye.